Right, guys, there have been a lot of uh, <clears throat> discussion on the Hangout about the, um, you know, the abilities of uh, some transmitters and receivers and flavorless units to be able to do stuff uh, while flying. And I was uh, posted that I <clears throat> actually bought this, um, the Touch version. This is my very first V-Bar control, uh, mostly because I uh, found out that you can do a full setup of a, of a helicopter while it's in the air. So <clears throat> most people don't know how it, to do that, so I'm going to show you how. And uh, um, apparently there are some other units that can do it. Um, I hear that the Jetty can do it and things like that, but I don't know if it's similar to this. So I'm going to show this one and maybe somebody else can show their version of that. So anyway, so <clears throat> what I have here is the um, VVAR control uh, touch. And the VVAR control touch has these wheels here, right? And uh, <clears throat> the old one had this uh, pot. And um, so <clears throat> what I do is that I assign everything that I wanna adjust to all these uh, dials and wheels and stuff and make sure that I can fly and I just everything in one single flight and then, then the hell hell is set up and dial in in a single flight. So to do that, <clears throat> you simply go to <clears throat> um, modify config, okay? Modify config, what I do is I have uh, all these um, potentiometers or switches that I can assign whatever I want to them. So this is the way I do it, right? I have this way, this one here is a potentiometer, the pod one. I uh, this one I adjust, uh, I set it up to adjust the peer peer wearing rate. On this one, I adjust the gain of the tail, okay, and the other pod. Then in here, and this um, pod here, I adjust the head gain, okay. On this one down here, I adjust the flipping and rolling rate in other words the what people would think as a dual rate kind of thing you know the, the speed at which the helicopter flips and rolls okay <clears throat> sorry on this one i adjust the style and the v bar the style is similar to like a heading hold of the head the style is something that um, makes the heli the higher the style the heli is more robotic so it's more heading hold and the lower, the, the hell is more free, freestyle kind of a thing. So you can adjust here how. I also have this other one here, right? This uh, this one here. But I don't use it for anything usually because I don't need it for the adjustments that I like to do. And also on this one here, uh, when I'm doing that, I, I adjust, uh, I set it up for head speed. So I can have three head speeds here. So I can test the uh, the gain of the gyro at different head speeds to see if I like it, okay? <clears throat> so to do that, it's pretty simple. Like I said, let me let me go and uh, show you where it's. So I'm going to go to modify config. It's that simple. So part one is this one here, part one. Part one, I go ahead and select it. Okay, and then I select the tail, sorry, part one, okay. I'm gonna select what's called tail rotor agility, which is pirouetting speed. Part two, which is this one, that's when I'm gonna adjust and assign tail rotor gain. Okay, so that's the one where you go all the way up until it starts hunting and then come back a little bit. That's the one we do that. Now, <clears throat> we have the top, Top left uh, trim wheel. So this wheel I'm going to add to that wheel. I'm going to uh, assign that would be front top. Okay, so front left, front left. Front, I'm sorry, uh, top left. This one, trim three. So this one I'm going to adjust. I'm going to adjust on this one the main rotor uh, gain. Okay. So that one is this wheel here, okay? Now the next one is, um, 
I'm gonna go do the trim one from left, so it's this one, the trim wheel from left. <coughs> On that one, I adjust the main rotor agility, which is uh, sort of like the dual rate, the speed at which it, it flips and rolls. And on the trim, two, trim two wheel number <coughs> two, which is the front right, right? On that one, I'm going to, st uh, I'm going to uh, select main rotor style, the the heading hole style. So that's the robotic or not. So those are the wheels, right? So now I can actually adjust whatever I want. So let's let's see what happens, right? This one here, if I move it. You will notice that I have agility here and I'm changing it, right? Tail rotor agility means the period and rate. And I know that I like to have this one starts in about, at about 90 or 100. Yeah, about 90. Let's leave it at 90. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And uh, so the, tour, the the gain, oh, that means that now the minimum is going to be 90 and the maximum is going to be 120. So I can adjust it slowly. See the, the green bar? Goes from 120 to 90 because that's what I wrote here. So the rotor gain, it's going to be starting around uh, around 45 <coughs> or so, and then the high is going to be probably around 80 or so. Okay, so <coughs> that means that <coughs> sorry, that means that now if I use this one here, the gain right. I can adjust the gain between maximum of 80 and minimum of 45. So that the thing is that these things can be done while you're flying, you know. So if you go do full here, full left, for instance, and rotate this thing, you'll have you'll see the actually the helicopter going faster or slower on the period rate until you set it to the place where you want it. And because it is a pod, there is no steps, you know, you can simply go exactly to where you like it. Right, and just leave it there. Same with this thing. <coughs> that will be the game. So you go set up the game. Uh, so same thing here, the main rotor agility. I go from here, that goes about from 80 to 120, that's fine. Main rotor style. Style is actually something that is, I use it from about 50 as a minimum, and a maximum of about 100. That 100 is quite robotic. 50 is, is when I'm doing, you know, really hardcore 3D. So main rotor gain here. <coughs> this one, put it around 30. Because if you're using high head speeds and high speed, uh, you don't want to have this too high because you're going to have um, uh, oscillations on the head. So I usually set it at about between this much and this much, right? But it's typically going to be around... <clears throat> around 42, 50, 45, around that area. <clears throat> so that one was a 23 top left, right? So if I move that, you'll see this one here. You can see this thing moving here, following that. Okay, uh, now, well, everything else is, you know, additional stuff, but let's also use a switch because we, let's say we want to use this switch, all right, that is assigned to option one, then we will assign that. So option one is going to be um, head speed, okay? And we're going to make it in between, let's say, 2,000, so about 2,000, yeah, and 2,400, let's say, 2,400. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so now we have... Uh, option one, but we haven't assigned where the switch that is. Okay, so so far here we have uh, tail rotor agility, so tail, tail, tail period rate, then the tail gain, main rotor uh, flipping and, and, and rolling uh, rate, uh, the style, which is pretty much a uh, heading hold, and main rotor gain, which is um, the gain on the, on the gyro of the head. And that can be set up to the point that it starts oscillating, you know, the disc. And now head speed I assign to the switch. Now we have to say, tell it what switch we mean. And that's simple. You go to the switch assignments and say, I want option one to be switch three, right? And that's it. So again, option one, and then you select the switch three. 
that's it now we have that selected and that means that if i switch the thing okay now i'm gonna have three head speeds right 2200 2000 and 2400 so that's the way i, I was able to uh, adjust that so if we go back here to the mo modify config now we have all of the things you know head speed and everything so that means that if i switch that thing to let's say 2400 then i can adjust the gain of the tail find out what is the best uh gain for that head speed and stuff like that so the, the nice thing about this and this is one of the reasons why i like it is because now i have the heli <coughs> ready you know to take off and I, let's say a helicopter that i don't know know it well so i simply go here and i go okay let's adjust this uh main rotor agility i usually start um yeah about this much you know about a hundred okay then i adjust the Peter rate to about a 106 is what I usually start at. And then I go again of the gyro. I go here and I go about, you know, 60 or something like that. So it doesn't start hunting, right? <clears throat> then I go on the top here. And that is the main rotor <clears throat> again. I give it about 55. Okay. And then the... <clears throat> um style i actually put that one at around 60 so it's not either way it's like a middle right so this is the way i set it up and then i go on uh, oh and the and the head speed i'm going to go with a 2200 you know the middle head speed so that's the way i take off once i take off then i have the ability to switch to i'm sorry to adjust anything on the on the fly right there so i take off check the tail check the pitron rate you know go to this this uh um part here and then the tail gain <clears throat> and all that and when once i have that i start uh going with the cyclics right and i switch uh you know full full flipping full rolling and if i don't like it then i simply come here see how whenever i do something i usually use the opposite side so that i can use the other hand let's say i'm having that and the other hand is, is controlling this thing which is uh the roller the wheel for the agility right so i do that with everything you know I, I just a whole helicopter in one single flight i have everything done everything perfect so what i do is now i go back here to this other screen you know the screen simple you know so just simply slide up and just start reading all the things that you that you set up and actually you can adjust here additional like you can edit it and they say okay a new one and say um for instance uh i don't know v-bar let's check here uh we have agility again uh, tail tail rate okay we put it here and we're gonna add here also the tail rate sorry no. uh the rate the tail we said rate and tail gain okay so we put it here done and we say save and exit okay so now we can uh whenever we adjust here right you can see that it also follows also by the way um one thing that happens when you have this screen is that you can add things that were not in these um knobs you know on the wheel or something and simply go click that and adjust it you know even while in flight so let's say when you're done you know you're done doing that you simply come here and say okay i like that and you simply use the three fingers and store this as one of the screens and now you know what your values are then you come back here right and um modify config and simply come to all of these things you know and disable them you simply come here disable all of those um because you already have the, mon the numbers that you wanted, right? And um, same with everything, pretty much. And um, you simply assign it to the to the let's say main rotor, whatever your your uh, agility and gain you liked it. That's fine. You just simply copy that from the from the from that and tail rotor the same thing. You know, you simply write those numbers there, and that's it. So pretty much, it's it's um, a one flight. 
um, setup thing with this uh, with this transmitter because uh, it, it allows you to have all of those things adjustable in while it's flying. So you can the, the, the thing that's really nice about it is that it's not a step thing. You have to land, come back, open a screen to add an adjustment of no, no. You are in the air flying, and you can be doing a maneuver, and in the middle of a maneuver, you can be adjusting slowly. You know, a setup. You know, whatever whatever thing that you're trying to adjust and find the perfect the perfect setting for that uh, for, for the style that you like to fly right and that is so cool because you don't have to be doing landing takeoff landing takeoff or anything like that you simply go up and adjust the whole heli everything to perfection to minute differences that you can actually do with all these this these tools you know this um uh, wheels and things like that and, and and that's absolutely fantastic i think it's just one of the best things that uh, have been created in our helicopter rc helicopter hobby and um i think it's you know it should be the standard for all the radios i don't know which ones can do it i know this one can do it and i freaking love it and uh and that's why i enjoy this radio so much okay so that's that's uh, pretty much what i wanted to to show you guys and that should be this new standard for all helicopters, for all, I'm sorry, for all radio systems. Okay, see you, bye-bye.